series, Summer, by Antoine Watteau, a painting of warmth and abundance. By Antoine Watteau, c. 1717-1718. Series, Summer, housed at the West Building, Main Floor, Gallery 54 of the National Gallery of Art, Washington, D.C., depicts a delightful scene of Ceres, the Roman goddess of agriculture and fertility, surrounded by the summer signs of the zodiac, Gemini, Cancer, and Leo. The painting, signed and dated by the artist, is a remarkable example of his dynamic and expressive style and his ability to portray the emotions and interactions of the mythological characters. The painting shows Ceres, wearing a white chemise that falls off her shoulders and a rose-pink band that wraps around her right shoulder, sitting sideways on a cloud among sheaves of wheat. She has a blonde hair adorned with a crown made from golden stalks of wheat intertwined with pale blue cornflowers and red poppies, symbolizing prosperity and fertility. She holds a sickle in her left hand, while looking at us with lidded, gray eyes and small, pink, bow-shaped lips. She is flanked by a lion and two young people, each carrying a bundle of wheat. The lion, representing Leo, has a long manet and a tawny face. He peers around Ceres's hip from under the wheat, his mouth pulled wide to expose one fang and his pink tongue curling out of the other side. An iron grey lobster, representing Cancer, crawls up on the clouds beneath the lion, adding an element of surrealism to the classical scene. The young woman and the child, representing Gemini, are seen from the chest up, facing Ceres. The young woman looks off to our left, while the child looks down. They have blonde hair and rosy cheeks, like Ceres. The scene is framed by a brick archway and a leafy tree that extends off the top right corner. The background shows a pale azure blue sky filled with tan-colored and light pink clouds. The painting is a masterpiece of color harmony, as Watho concentrated the two major colors in two distinct areas, a warm pink for Ceres's cloth and ribbon, and a cool blue for the sky and the clouds. He then used the intensity of the white and yellow for Ceres's chemise and the wheat to unify the whole. The contrast between the warm and cool tones creates a visual and psychological effect, as the pink cloth and ribbon suggest Ceres's femininity and charm, while the blue sky and clouds imply her divinity and power. The painting is also a demonstration of light and shadow, as Watto illuminates the subject with a natural and radiant light that highlights their features and creates a soft, hazy look. The light also reflects off the wheat, the sickle, the tip of the nose, the lips, and the lion's eyes, adding sparkle and liveliness to the composition. The painting is seen as one of Watteau's mythological scenes, a French term that refers to paintings of stories or legends from ancient Greek and Roman culture, usually featuring gods, goddesses, heroes, or nymphs. Watteau studied with his father, François de Troy, professor and then director of the Academy Royal de Painture at de Sculpture. In 1699, he traveled to Italy, spending most of his time in Rome copying the masterpieces of antiquity and Italian art. He returned to Paris in 1706, and two years later became a full-fledged member of the Academy. He completed ambitious decorations in churches, palaces, and public buildings in Paris, Versailles, Fontainebleau, and Marseilles. In 1738, he was granted the prestigious post of director of the Académie de France in Rome, a position he retained until his death. He was also a prolific and versatile painter, who worked in various genres and media. The painting may also have a symbolic meaning, as the story of Ceres and the Seasons is one of the most famous examples of the theme of nature and its cycles in classical mythology. According to the legend, Ceres had a daughter, Persephone, who was abducted by Hades, the god of the underworld. Ceres searched for her daughter all over the world, neglecting the crops and causing famine. Zeus, the king of the gods, intervened and ordered Hades to return Persephone, but he tricked her into eating a pomegranate seed, which bound her to the underworld for part of the year. Ceres was reunited with her daughter, but only for six months of the year, during which she made the earth fertile and abundant. The other six months, when Persephone was in the underworld, Ceres mourned and the earth became barren and cold. The painting captures the moment of Ceres's joy and bounty, when Persephone is with her and the earth is in full bloom, 